the people. Here we are. Um, this is May 21st. Um, conclusions from morning coffee. So today on the morning coffee, we looked at this book I found at Tractor Supply. And we got some little cards that came with it. And we designed um, a set. So I'm going to start with the set. So if you want to see kind of the design of this process, swing on over to the live playlist and look for morning coffee from May 21st. And um, in that video, we look at the book and we talk about the reasoning behind these cards and the reasoning behind the design. So I'm going to go ahead and start, I think, with the necklace. So I'm going to move these up out of the way. These are the earrings. Two for that, two for this. Um, we are using Thunder Horse Descendants um, BD Deal of the Week. And that is what we are using. The kit is $12. It comes with all of the beads that you see here on the mat. Um, we have about five of those left. They are listed on the website, which is www.thunderhorsedescendant.biz. Uh, is also in the description of this video if you need this in your life. So to get started as a representation of our selenite card, I have found 22 gauge wire in both gold and hematite. So day and night. And that's how I'm going to be going with that got these up here just as reference. So let's get this party started. Alrighty guys, here we go. So we're going to start with the necklace and I wanted to um, utilize the selenite with this little feather on it which I think is interesting because per the card, which is giving very Egyptian vibes, the selenite wants us to find a, our sacred center. So this is a bar. And then this is very much giving the Egyptian scales where your heart needs to be lighter than a feather, right? To enter into the afterlife. So I found that to be very symbolic. Again, these are my opinions allegedly. So I'm going to wrap it on now. I have heard from those in the group that the gluing can be a little bit problematic, but I'm going to glue it on um, just, to, just to hold it in place while I wrap it. I'm going to attempt to do that. Glue budget. I'm going to attempt to do that with just the smidgiest of E6000. Now, i got to pick a side here. got to pick a side. I feel like this side is the flattest. So I'm going to go with this one. And I'm just going to put the smidgiest of a 6,000 on this little feather. And although a 6,000 is a long-term hold glue, it should at the very least tack up a little bit so that I can get it wrapped on. So I'm just going to put it in the center. Right, we're finding the finding the center that's according to our card. Now I'm not expecting this to hold like just by itself. I mean I don't know that it would, but I also don't know if it wouldn't. But I am gonna also wrap it just because I want to. Now I'm going to give that a little hot minute, I think. Let's give that a little hot minute before we start really going to town on that. Let me zoom in a little bit. <clears throat> so now 
I gotta split out these beads because we want an even number. We gotta make sure we have an even number. I did not count these. I just stuck them. I just stuck them in a pile. So, oh, they were even. Look at that. So this one, I'm gonna go according to the card, nighttime. So I'm gonna wrap with 22 gauge dead soft hematite wire, and I'm gonna start creating links like a rosary chain. Okay, so I'll show you how to do that and then I'll probably whip that into fast forward so it's not so repetitive, you know. But the way I want to do it is a very specific way. So I want to get a little piece of this hematite and I want to create this um, infinity symbol, basically this way. And to do that, I'm going to take two beads. Let me get my first loop on here. So to create this loop, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my round nose, make the number seven, okay, go up over the top, spin your plier, apply pressure to the other side, bring this all the way around to create what looks like an eye pin. And then I'm going to wrap the tail about three times around the base wire. And I'm going to give it a little trip. We're going to have a chain nose wire. So I'm going to give a little work hard in here and then oop, and then I'm going to tuck the tail in. Oop. Okay, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So you should have this ready to rock and that's how we will do all of them. But the dealio is, is that I want to put this bead on um, right side up like a drop. Right? So it looks like a drop. I'm going to take the second bead and I'm going to put it on upside down so that it's creating this shape that we see on this card. You see? So the butts, the little fat butts are on the outside and the little skinny parts are on the inside. Put your butts on the outside, they said. <laughs> then I'm going to do the same. Now I'm going to leave a little smidge of space here so that when I, when I uh, bend my plier down, the bottom of my plier is going to basically touch that bead and go over the top, spin it, put pressure, bring this all the way around, go to the side here, and then I'm going to wrap three times or until I get to my bead so it's tight. So if you've been around this channel for any amount of time, you've seen this a million times, but for those of you who are new, we're just doing it, showing you. Okay, so I'm just going to tuck that tail in, work hard in the little loop, and then these two guys here are going to create the shape. So that's what I'm going to do with all my beads. Now, I was a little concerned that I wouldn't have enough space to get through all of the beads to create an 18-inch necklace, but if I space with a large oval jump ring, uh, when I go to put these together, I should be able to. So I'm going to go ahead and do that.
right guys, so I'm here at the end about to do my last one. Now I just had one left, so I think what I'll do is I'll move this one up to the earrings because it doesn't, it's not, I'm not able to do two. And then for this one, I am going to put, I'm gonna attempt to put that ring in the middle. So we'll see how that goes. Okay, so I'm just tucking this tail in here and doing it the same way. So then I'll just put this ring on top and it might move a little, but probably not too much. Yeah, that's cute. So this circle is representing these life forces here. All right, so that is that for the night side. And I think we're gonna be okay. I think I will put these closest to the pendant, the ones with the rings, not just because they are, sorry you guys if the lighting is not real great today. It's real overcast here in Minnesota. Um, not just because, um, they're different but also because it's the closest to the infinity symbol in the center right so I think that that'll be good but also because they're different they're the only one that's different so I think we're gonna be okay we space with if we space with um, some large uh, oval jump rings we might even have to do maybe two but we'll see how we go I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the gold side now before we get started on the pendant, so I'll be right back. Here we are. I've got these to the ooh, the night and day side um, represented here. And now, let's see. We have a couple of things to do that we need to focus on. So we have our pendant. 
and we're gonna have to wire wrap around him and then we also have to find ourselves some large enough jump rings in both colors that are going to represent in between here and I was thinking I would use some eights and I might even be able to get away with using two eights let me see what I got here's gold and then this darker hematite color I may have to go with a gunmetal perhaps So it looks like I have round gunmetal and I have a few eights in there. Um, I may have to run downstairs and see if I have some more eight in gunmetal because I would like to use the larger size. So let me do that and I'll be right back. If not, we may have to use a different option. So. I'll be right back all right guys we were saved by the inventory <laughs> saved by the inventory so I went downstairs and this is all I could find in the in my box downstairs and I didn't know if it was gonna be enough but these are eight millimeter um, gunmetal oval jump rings and that's all I had left FYI Randy's gonna have to well I guess these will be for me so then Shannon said well didn't go look in the inventory box and I said oh so we are going to be selling these these are 525 for a pack of 100 and it'll be coming up here sometime whenever we put them on the list but FYI saved by the inventory so now I can re oh, let me just put these let me just put these right in here look at that and and I have a gunmetal lobster okay so we have some of those, and then we need gold over here. Okie dokie. And there's some eights and some other things in there, it looks like. Perfect. Now here's the question. Here's the question. Are we going to put all of the gunmetal with the gunmetal and the gold with the gold or are we going to put gold with the gunmetal like this and gunmetal with the gold that's the question let's see <sighs> i think you really could go either way, but I think I'm going to go because, you know, there's a little bit of whatever. But to the card, it is very much separate, right? So I'm going to keep the gunmetal with the gunmetal and the gold with the gold. That's my, that's what I'm going to do. And to start, I got to see how many of these I'm going to need. So I'm going to go, I'm just going to start putting them on to see how I want to go here. So I'm going to start here. And do I want to go like this? Is that going to be enough or should I do two? Uh, I think I'm going to do two. I think I will do two. Close that guy up. Do a second one, attach him on, and then do my next one. And hopefully that'll give us enough length to get all the way around. By 
the way, I should mention that Thunder Horse Ascendant is a working studio, so if you hear some things going on, don't worry. That's just work happening. Phyllis is here putting some sorting and doing some pricing, and Shannon's downstairs doing some shipping. And I'm just beating. <laughs> That's my evil laugh. I'm like, you guys can do beading if you want to. And I'll do the sorting and the pricing. What do you think, Phyllis? I'm happy doing this. <laughs> She's happy doing this, she says. <laughs> okay. I'll just continue on then. So we got to get nine inches out of this, which I think we're, I think we're going to be okay. Hopefully. At least nine. And then let's just put two on the end here for fun. We should be good. Oh, let's put our... lobster on there. Okay. Ooh, I like it. Let's give it a little measure. Come on, nine. It's got to be nine, right? <laughs> Look at that. To the jump ring. Good cool. Look at us go. All right, cool. So this will be technically, if I put this side, if I put this on this side, it should be, right? Wait a minute. It should be this side. I don't know if I want that. Well, we'll deal with that later. Let's get our gold one going. Figure out what side we're supposed to be on. Okay. Same deal over here. Doing the gold. Oh, I gotta start with this guy. Because we said we wanted him closest to the pendant. Oh, hold on, I forgot one. I forgot we were doing two. Whoops.
Okie doke. So we should be, well, this one has a lobster on it. Oh, that's the wrong. What happened here? Oh, look what I did. <laughs> that's not where that goes. Hold on. We gotta move that. Goes on the other side. Goes on this side. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're with it. Perfect, perfect, all right, we're doing it, we're doing it, like that. Okay, so I'm quite happy with that. Now, we'll worry about this, let me just take this lobster off, it's wigging me out. Because we still got to do up our pendant, which means the pendant is going to have a front. Now, we may have to switch it around because... According to the card, we have night on this side and day on this side. Look at us doing it. Yeah. Pretty good. Okay, so now we got to do the pendant portion. And the pendant portion, I'm thinking what I want to do is I just want to do a little bit of wrap on here with both colors of wire. See, I could just, if you didn't want to do wrap, you could just go like this. But I feel like we should do a wrap of some sorts. So let me get some of each color. And I don't know how much I'm gonna need, so I'm gonna get I'm gonna get maybe like a foot of both. I don't know if we'll need a foot, but you never know. You never know. So I get the same amount of each color. And this selenite already has a, a bale on it. So I used it in this kit or mix or whatever you want to call it for that reason because some people uh, don't like wire wrapping or they don't know what to do if it doesn't have a, a loop. So I was like, oh, this will be fine. But since we're going to just wrap, this is basically just cosmetic. It's just to bring the necklace together. It's not really to really do anything. Um, so, but what I think I will do is I'm going to take one of each color and I think I will just create a little basket down here. Like I normally would do this if there was no loop, but so basically what you're going to do is you're going to, you're going to create a U shape with your wire on both wires, right? You want to make sure they're even. And then you're going to bring them to the middle. Even-ish. You're going to bring them to the middle and you're basically going to create a little circle in the middle of the wire like this. Okay. Once you have that, you're just going to kind of, you're just going to kind of gauge it so this is where our crystal will go inside of there like so okay like this now you could do this from the bottom if you want to i don't know that i want to let me see uh, i mean i could i guess i could i mm. I don't know if I want to. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make my first twist right here. You're just going to twist it. Okay. Once you have your first twist, you're going to go again to make two twists right here with your gold and your other color. Now, before you get to twist it over on this side, basically what you want to do is kind of just create a little space. And then you're going to put your crystal in there. <clears throat> okay. You're going to even it up with this twist that you have. So you can start down as far as you want. Um, you could start on the bottom too if you put this twist on the bottom, right? Like that. Maybe that looks better. Maybe I'll do it like that. Okay, I'm going to put the twist on the bottom. So in order to do that, we're just going to twist it out like so. Just one over the other. And I'm going to put that on the bottom like this. 
It's busy. Lemon squeezy. Okay. And I'm just going to fold it. Now you could do this any way you want to. I just kind of do it however the crystal is telling me it wants to go at the moment. So I do want this night and day to be seen. So I'm going to push this down onto the mat to create that square shape. And then once I have this on the bottom, it's all it's doing is just being there on the bottom. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring one of the night and one of the day to the side and I'm going to crisscross like so. And you just kind of want to maneuver it however you want. And I'm just going to give it one twist. Just one. Push it into the crystal. Go to the other side. Do the same thing. Now this has the pen, the feather on it, but we don't care about that because this is just decorative, right? So we're just going to go over the top of it with the night and the day. And we're going to position it where we want. And we're going to give it one twist. Easy peasy, push it into the crystal. Now we're going to go to this side. We have a night and we have a day. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, and we're going to give it half a twist, push it in, well one twist basically. Other side, night and a day, easy peasy, lemon squeezy, position it, one twist, push it in, okay so this is what we're getting. So you have one on the back, one on the front, one on the side, one on the other side. And we just keep going like that up the top. So now, in this front area, I am kind of making sure to keep my day and my night on the same side, you see here. That's important to me. Um, I was just thinking, do I want to put my, my night side over here? It's fine. All right, so day and night, get them in there. And you're kind of squishing this all in as you go. So it's tightening up. You give it one twist. Bring this to the side. <clears throat> I'm gonna go ahead and do the back. Okay, so you're going to want to do them the same, whichever one is going over the top, you're going to want to do them the same, because when you twist, okay, your half twist, that's going to leave you with the same color on this side. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Push it in. Okay, now to the side. So gold goes down, knight goes over the top, and spin like so over here same situation hmm. night goes over the top of day spin push it in now we're getting up to the top here okay so now this is actually gonna work out for in our favor I feel like because um, we have this to wrap around so you could go I don't know if you could really get one more on there so what I'm gonna do is on each side I mean mm, no I don't think so so on each side I'm just going to where we were doing one twist I'm gonna do a couple more twists to get up here a little bit over this edge like so ba boop ba boop ba boop ba boop okay other side same same situation ba boop ba boop ba boop ba boop Maybe one more. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, so it's coming up to the top. I think I could even do maybe even a little more on this side. Okay. All right, and now we're to the top. Yeah. So now that we're to the top, I'm just going to kind of, I'm going to now bring these wires together as though they are one. Okay, so these two go together, and these two go together, right, like this, got me, like so, 
Okay, and I'm gonna do one in the front of the loop, of the main loop, and one in the back. And then I'm just going to wrap these around, pulling them really tight to kind of get some of the slack out. If there is any slack, okay. Pushing it into the crystal before I loop it, pushing it into the mat, making sure it's in there. And then we're just going to utilize these as though they are one wire and we're just going to wrap around. So I'm going to go with this one, go with this one, go with this one, go with this one. Okay, now when you get here, there's other options for you, you know, to tie off your wire however you see fit. You could do spirals, you could leave tails, you could do whatever. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring these ones kind of to the side and I'm going to cut them. Just cut them off, no big deal. Don't panic, remember not to panic. And I am going to tuck these in to the side here. And I'm gonna go around one more time with this side to kinda, you know, give that a little something. And then I'm going to come to the side and I'm gonna go ahead and cut these off. And I'm gonna tuck those in. Okay, and we're just tucking these tails in, make sure they don't jump out by nobody. Uh, while you're doing this, you're kind of going around and you're tightening everything up a little bit, but you don't really want it too tight. It's not really super necessary. Now I have one up here on the top, so I'm gonna grab a hold of it and kind of tuck it in there. All right. So this is what we end up with, our pendant. I hope you can see, I'm trying to see if you can see. I'm trying to see what you can see. Here's what it looks like. Now, none of this is necessary, okay? None of it is necessary. You could just whip it on there, and have yourself a lovely day. It doesn't matter. But, okay, this is what I want. So I got like my day and my night. Now here's the question. According to the card, I have night on this side and day over here. But what if this works out in my favor if I switch them around because I also have my lobster claw, which is uh, gunmetal, and I use it on this side. So now all of my day is on this side and all of my night is on this side. Although that is not the representation of the card, I think it's fine. I'm going to do it. Now, to get it on there, I feel like what we could do is we could use some smaller jump rings. Let's see if I have any smaller ovals in here uh, in the gunmetal color yes I do okay so let me do one smaller that looks like a six okay do I have a six over here I do got a six okay so let me connect this one here and do I want to jump it right on there? You know, I don't know if I do. Let me go this way, this direction, this type of direction. Let's see what we get. So I got one gunmetal on the gunmetal side. And then I got my gold on there. And I put that through the loop. And I'm going to connect onto the gold side with the gold jump ring. Just making sure it's evened up nice. Okay. Yes, yeah, so then it, it can move a little bit. It's not just plastered in the middle of the... I don't really care for that when it's just in the middle, you know just where it can't move. So I do want it to move a little bit. So this is what we got. Okay. So now I can just move up here and put my lobster on the gunmetal side. Cool, 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 cool. And I can hook on 
to here, the gold side. So now the question is, do I want to put a extender of some sorts? Is this going to be a problem? No. It's going to be fine. I feel like I think it's going to be fine. I want to move this, but I'm scared. Oh yeah, that's better. I had to straighten up that loop a little bit. Okay. So let's measure then we'll talk about a possible extender situation. Eighteen on the money to where it meets. So to do the extender, we would have to go gold because that's on the gold side. I mean, we wouldn't have to. We can do whatever we want, but here we are. So we could just add some jump rings to create an extender if we wanted to, but our I think I think maybe we just do a chain. Just go ahead and hook this right on to this jump ring here. Now, okay, so now we have these two leftover crystals that we never really intended uh, in the plan for the earrings so maybe I will just wrap those up we'll put one at the end of the chain I'm gonna use a gold ball head pin for that I think I want a long one That might be slightly confusing, so no. Let me go back. Let me go back and get a smaller one. I'm just gonna wire wrap him right onto the chain. Okay, now in the equality of everything, I'm going to get the other one. And I'm going to get a gunmetal head pin. The only ones I have in gunmetal are large. But I have one. Okay. And now, this guy... He's on the very end. This guy's on the very end. So maybe we put him on the very front.
think I'll hang him with his own jump ring. I could connect on, but that's gonna that's gonna mess up my uh, my weight distribution down here in this center area. So I'm just gonna find. Oh, I don't have another small oval, so I'm gonna use this four round. And I think I'll put him, I'm going to put him not on the jump ring, but on this wire wrap right here, on the gunmetal side. Just because I want that pendant to be able to move around a little bit. Let's see how he looks. Oh, I feel like he should be... Oh yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Okay, so I don't have a, do I have one? Let me see. I was going to say, I don't have a bust up here. I've been showing how they look. So, let me see if I can't maneuver here and show it to you on a bust. I might have to go get one. Well, maybe I'll just try it on. Maybe I'll try it. I'm loving it. I'm loving it. I think with the, yeah. Okay, I think it's great. Right here. You know, imagine these flip-flopped. Can you imagine it flip flopped? Yeah. Okay, let me try it on. I'm gonna take off my current stuff here and I'll try it on for you. Okay, here it is on me. I think it's quite good myself. enjoying these videos if you are please don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you all of your views and comments and likes and shares are very helpful to the channel and keep us beaten so thank you so much for that also thank you to the members who are contributing and helping with all of our loveliness i appreciate you and i'll see you guys um in the next one. Oh, so here's the deal shannon is ready to start doing some inventory with me so I have to stop <laughs> I have to stop and I have to do work things so we'll probably do the earrings tomorrow okay we'll do the then we'll start the earrings on the tomorrow claim it uh, tomorrow live show morning coffee and then if I don't get them done then then I'll finish them in the video but I'm gonna post this video now so that you guys have something for today okay Bye, guys.